So positive and negative is the tape leading from the battery. We have our AAA batteries hiding inside our some kind of Minecraft contraption. I mean, all the rest of the LEDs would basically just yeah, they, just they would just they would be parallel in parallel, but because we put the resistor there, yep. they're all sitting on. We're gonna have like three LEDs on one resistor, and so when we're done. Just like over here, we have these in a row. We will have this only now. It will sit directly on the base plate. And when we've printed it, then we will have a circuit, which will be on, capped on, but with these kind of holes, so that we could then lift it and put it on top of a new row of Legos. This is basically a bus, so this is like a little strip of LEDs, where you could have one, two, three, although I'd probably want to space them out a little bit more. And then our resistor is there and our power is there. I've got this square, which is a trace, mm -hmm. and then this battery connector. Mm -hmm. um, if you see the battery connector, it's got, um, it has these holes um, in it. And right. then okay. what I can do is basically take the battery connector and that trace Mm -hmm. And then I can union them so that now they're one shape. Right, okay. Um, and then I could like adjust Whoa. Okay. that and do uh, some mm -hmm. interesting stuff with it. Okay. And the nice thing is when you design in millimeters in Inkscape and you go to export your uh, bitmap, you mm -hmm. can just tell it 300 dpi and it matches everything perfectly. Okay, so that would be our battery holder. Yep. I put that somewhere else, I guess, but anyway, yeah, that would be our resistor. Oh, I think you just gave me an extra there. Look how tiny these LEDs are. I do not want to handle those when I've tried soldering them, like the tweezers and then you gotta have be holding the soldering iron and then you gotta hold the solder and it's, uh, it's very hard. So I'm looking forward to trying them with the pick and place arm. Alright, so here we are. We had our original redstone, and now we've got our Squinkbot created redstone uh, dust powering three torches. Looking pretty good. So, in this case, we literally picked and placed the LEDs directly on this Lego, and um, we stuck them onto a sticky copper tape. Mission accomplished. Thank you, Bot Factory. <laughs> <laughs>